Good morning, YouTube land. Oh my gosh, you know, I really cannot believe. I just absolutely find it so hard to comprehend that. It is January 27th. Like it just seems like a few weeks ago it was January 1st. Which, yeah, it was January 1st a few weeks ago. <laughs> But if you catch my drift, the time is just going by so fast. So let's just spend the next 15 to 16 minutes together as a family. Because we are related, you know. If you know that you belong in God's family and that you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, and you know that you wouldn't even have life if it weren't for Jesus and his sacrifice. I mean, everything he did, everything. And you know what really amazes me is he could have backed out. He could have, right? I mean, he was human. He was tempted just like us, but he knew no sin, and he bore all the wrongs, all the evilness, all the wickedness, everything dirty and just disgusting. He said, I'll take it. And yet, here we were still doing it, still enjoying it. You know, it displeases the Father to see his kids living impure lives. You know, and going to church and acting one way and then walking out the church doors and, well, we're back in the world. You know, what? do what the Romans do, right? What in, what's in Rome, you know, while in Rome, or something like that. But isn't it sad that 90% of God's people are just totally faking it? And I don't mean faking it, faking it. I mean, like, like me, for example, you know, I'm not perfect. I backslide all the time. I do. I, you know, sometimes I, I have an impure thought, and it's not like you're supposed to be perfect all the time. But you know what? I guess that's just something that I wanted to talk about, was thank you for spending a few minutes on this channel giving God all the glory. Because He is so worthy to be praised. And you'll hear that in every video I make. He is so worthy to be praised. Because he is. He totally is. Okay. Now, if you have your Bible, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite things to talk about. Because it hasn't happened yet. There's this thing called the Harpazo, the Rapture, and it's not mentioned in the Bible, but if you open up your Bible to these verses, you are going to see what the Bible says about the return of Christ. Now, if you go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18, I'm going to read it. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means 
precede those who are asleep. Now for those, I just want to stop here. That's the dead people. That's the people that are in the graves right now, just in case you didn't know that. Jesus calls those people asleep. For the Lord himself will descend, come down, descend from heaven with a shout, with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. See, the dead in Christ. And then we who are alive and remain, say that with me, alive and remain. That's us. Alive and remain. I know, sometimes I just, words get to me because it's of so much importance. You could like totally not even read the rest of anything of the life of that except alive and remain. I know. It's got a it's got a it's got a ring to it. Alive and remain shall be caught up together. There's another one. Shall be caught up together. Alive and remain shall be caught up together. I, I know it seems like I go in depth, but I don't even go in depth enough. There's better people out there that know this stuff, that can explain this stuff. I'm just telling you, I'm one of God's children that just can't wait for the great escape. You know what I mean? It's like the great escape from Houdini or something. It's like... I mean, I'm not calling Jesus the great Houdini. That would be blasphemy. But he is the son of God that will be descending from heaven for us that are waiting. For us that are waiting. There's so many of us. Isn't it nice to feel like this? To be like, oh my gosh, it could be the day. <laughs> like it could totally be the day. But, you know, there's things that have to happen that haven't happened, so we have to wait until they happen. And that's just in a nutshell. Okay, so then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. To meet the Lord in the air. Because he is not stepping down on this earth. Not the, not the time that, that, that's getting ready to happen that hasn't happened yet. That's why I love all the mockers and the scoffers. Oh, y'all been saying that for years and years and generations and years. I know, but it ain't happened yet. Shoot. Eat my rice pudding, slap me, and call me white. That is not racist. Somebody in my family used to say that really fast, and it was funny. Anyways, I'm serious. It hasn't happened yet. Okay, look at Titus chapter 2, verse 13. Please go there. Do you have your Bible? Looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're waiting. That's our blessed hope. And His glorious appearing. I don't know about you, but I am going to fall straight on my face, right on the ground, like a rock, is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to say nothing. I... I'm just going to be like, oh my gosh, in my head, of course, like, oh my gosh, can you imagine being with Jesus? I know, and people have their, their silly little idols down here. 
I could name a couple of them, but why put mortal people on blast when this channel, every, it's all God's glory. It's all for Jesus Christ. It's all for what Jesus did. He made it so easy to be with him. And people don't even believe it. They don't believe the information. They don't read their Bible. They're clueless. They have no idea. They think going to college and getting a good paying job is the best thing to do in the world. No, it's not. It's reaching the lost and bringing people to the cross because we are living in the last hours of the last days where the Antichrist is just, just put into power. You watch. You watch. I've got these gut feelings, these gut instincts. You know, people are going to shoot nuclear missiles and, you know, they're going to be tests. Tests gone wrong on per accidentally on purpose. Seriously. You, have you ever just wanted to fight with somebody just to fight with them? And you knew what you were doing was wrong, but you just you just wanted them to say one stupid thing so you could you know what I mean? Just that's where we're at today in the world. Like going to the grocery store, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. You know, seriously, it's, it's not a friendly place out in the world today. It's just not friendly at all. Okay, now if you go to Acts chapter 1, verse 11, it says, Who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? Why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, this same Yahushua, who was taking up from you into heaven, will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Acts chapter 1 verse 11. And, and, if, you, and if you just take Acts 1, 1, 1. I don't know if you're into numbers, but one, 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 Acts. You know, Acts, that's, the, that's part of the word action. That's the first three letters of the word action. Do you know action is different than just talk? See, talk is cheap. Cheap. Talk is very, very cheap. It don't cost a thing. But action, like back it up, back, backing it up, backing it up. The Word of God, it's right here in the Bible. See, I get so excited about this part of the Bible because it hasn't happened yet. It just hasn't happened yet. And for other people that are like me that know, that know, that know, it's going to happen. It's going to, hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. I don't care if people laugh and make fun of me. You know what? Everybody needs to wake up feeling happy, feeling blessed, feeling less stressed, and just knowing we are in the last days. There's diseases out there, diseases out there. There's things that are dying out there. And I don't bring that up so we can like, you know, yippee yike, uh, yay yay about them. But I'm just saying, in the Bible, it says, look for these things to happen. And they're happening. That's all I wanted to say. It's, 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 it's happening. Do you know what I mean? Does anybody even care what I mean? You know, I just want to be like an inspector gadget type of person and just, you know, and maybe I will since the weather is just cloudy and rainy. I, I have to stay indoors anyways. But I'm going to look up and see what's going on with Fukushima. What's going on with that one Louisiana, um, oh shoot, remember all the gas and the bubbles and 
Yeah, I can't remember. I can't re remember it. Buy you corn! See, I did remember something. It just takes me a minute. But, you know what? I just love waking up with you guys in the morning, and I really have to go. Like, seriously. Drink your tea. Drink your coffee. Thank the Lord for another day. And you know what? God bless you and get firm in the faith. I love you and Jesus loves you more. Bye.